Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm David Coverdale from Whitesnake, and I'm here to introduce to you The Purple Tour Live, and also an accompanying book, an enormous book, over 300 pages of wonderful photographs. As some of you know, or hopefully most of you know, back in 2012, I received a message from John Lord, um, the most incredible keyboard player ever, and most wonderful man, uh, asking me if I would do something purple related with him um, once he kicked Kansas' ass, which sadly uh, didn't happen, as we all know. But that opened up um, all kinds of ideas in my mind that instead of going in and doing another White Snake album, which was the original plan, um, was to revisit the songs that I wrote over 40 years ago were Richie Blackmore and Glenn Hughes and, and John um, and pay tribute, uh, homage, uh, to how I literally got my start in the music business. Uh, and that was it. And I'm eternally grateful to all those guys for being amazing to me in the University of Deep Purple. Hopefully I graduated and did them proud. Anyway, my band, Red Beach, Joel Hoekstra, Michael Devin, uh, Tommy Aldridge did me proud uh, on the on the purple album um, and we discussed the idea of going on a purple tour which interspersed like 50 percent of deep purple songs that were featured on the purple album on our, on our usual big white snake hits and it was fabulous for me to perform these songs again after 40 something years and introduce them to people who hadn't even heard of that had been in deep purple at that time so it was a big deal um, and we filmed, uh, we worked with our dear friends uh, Def Leppard on a, a big UK tour of all the, the, the arenas, uh, and we filmed Birmingham, um, which we've never done before, Bur recorded and filmed Birmingham, Birmingham, and, uh, and you'll, you'll see yourselves in it anyway. After we finished touring last year in October uh, in 2016, um, I was supposed to help Michael McIntyre, my co-producer, and, and Red Beach in uh, mixing the stuff, finishing off the mix for the Purple Tour Live. And sadly, uh, I was exhausted. And all my family were coming in, my granddaughters, my daughter, uh, and her fiance at that time, now her husband. Love you, Baron. Um, anyway, uh, we left it till this year. And, uh, and I'm really proud of it. I think you're gonna really enjoy it. Uh, our dear friend and head of creative video, uh, Tyler Bournes, directed it, edited, and uh, if you don't like some of the filters, it's entirely his fault. Um, but it's, it's something, it's a fabulous record uh, of, of a really successful tour. Uh, the only sad thing that we didn't get to South America, which I know there's huge Purple fans, and, and maybe one day we'll have the pleasure of coming down and, and revisiting those songs for you guys. But other than that, here it is, the Purple album, uh, the Purple Tour Live. And as I say, there's an enormous coffee table book. I think you can see behind me, that's coming out almost simultaneously, I believe, with the Purple DVD CD. And I think you're gonna enjoy it. It's a document from the very beginning, the concept, the beginning of the concept and why you know, we did the Purple Album. Um, the story of each members of the band, uh, their feelings about the songs and stuff, photographed by some fabulous photographers, Mark Smith, particularly my fabulous wardrobe girl, Lauren Cowell, who's an amazing uh, photographer and of course has access to all areas. So there's lots of intimate stuff that you would normally never see. It's a great book. It's a great CD, DVD, and it's a great book. It's gonna be a Whitesnake Christmas.